channel. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about some recent products that I've picked up in hauls. Some I've showed to you before in videos and some I haven't. Um, they may be hits or misses, but I thought I would share some of my updated opinions on them. If you're interested in seeing that, then keep watching. I have a tendency to pick up a lot of products. I'm just, I have a problem with shopping and I like to try new things and it's just something that I do. So I don't always show you guys what I've picked up because it might just be here and there at the drugstore or at Ulta or I might run into Sephora and get something. Um, I thought why not share updated opinions on some of the items that I have shown you guys and some of the items I haven't and uh, we can just get into it. So. I have some hair care items and some makeup items and my first one is a hair care product and this is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day and I originally picked this up because I had a hard time finding my um, Living Proof Prime Style Extender and I ended up finding it and getting it at Sephora and I love it. This just wasn't exactly what I was hoping it would be. It does work good, but I feel like if you use too much of this product, it'll weigh your hair down. And I have a lot of hair and I usually have to use a good amount of product, but with this, I barely have to use any um, to get the desired effect that I'm looking for. So I do like it, but it isn't exactly my favorite product. It doesn't really leave your hair silky or really shiny looking, but what it does do is sort of thicken up your hair and makes any flyaway stay in place and gives a little bit of hold to your hair. Um, so it says that this product is a 5-in-1 styling treatment that gives you beautiful healthy hair in one easy step. It's supposed to combine two patented technologies that provide an ideal balance of all the benefits you need for a perfect hair day. So smoothes, volumizes, conditions, strengthens, and polishes. So I definitely say that it smoothes and volumizes and it's conditioning for sure because if you use too much of it, then it's going to weigh your hair down. So the key to really liking this product is making sure you use the correct amount for your hair. And it says on to use this on damp hair, evenly distribute from roots to ends, come through for your best results, then blow dry. So it doesn't actually say like how much you should use, but for me I use like the tiniest little not even a dime size like it's really a small amount and I just focus it on my ends so that is the living proof perfect hair. the next product I have is from um, is two products I'm going to talk about and they're both concealers so the first one is the double wear um, Estee Lauder stay in place flawless wear concealer and I picked this up a couple months back because I needed a new concealer and this is in the shade extra light and I'm really a big fan of the Estee Lauder Double Wear Maximum Coverage Foundation. I have it on today. It works amazingly and I've tried other products in the Double Wear line and I really like it. So I wanted to try out this concealer. I'd never tried it before. Um, I tried another one of the Double Wear concealers and I really liked it. But this one for me I feel like is just a bit heavy. I really thought that it would be what I was looking for in terms of coverage and not showing any of my like fine lines underneath my eye area, but I find in order to really get this to work, you have to make sure that your under eye area is well moisturized. And even then, by midday, I feel like this can feel a bit cakey. Um, so I don't know if I would really ever repurchase this. Maybe if you have really heavy, heavy dark circles and you have oily skin you might like this um, so maybe try it out if you have skin like that and it's not exactly the cheapest product either so another concealer I picked up recently is the NYX HD concealer and I picked mine up in the shade fair so that's CW02 this is what it looks like it's their HD concealer and I freaking love this. This is my new favorite drugstore concealer. I think I got it for like six dollars so super affordable. I'm wearing it today. You can see it gives like really good coverage under my eyes. I don't need a ton of it. It blends out really smoothly. It doesn't cake. 
when you put powder over it, it lasts all day. Like, I can't believe I've never tried this product before because it's definitely been around on the market for a little while. And this does everything that I had hoped this would do at a fraction of the cost. So if I was you, I would try this HD NYX concealer if you had been looking at the Double Wear concealer because this one works really well. Another hair care product is from Chi and it is the Magnified Volume Finishing Spray and this is just a travel size that I got a while back when I picked up um, my hair care set from Loxa Beauty. If you haven't seen that haul, I'll link it down below. Um, but I am obsessed with this. Like I love spraying this in my hair. It works so well and you know, Chi is somewhat affordable. It's not super expensive. I know you can pick it up in places like Target and Ulta, so definitely easily attainable. And I find that it is pretty comparable to my Oscar Blondie uh, Dry Texture Spray. And I cannot get over it. I got the extra big size because it was on special and it um, was a really good price. And I don't really love this. It just didn't do exactly what I wanted to me. It doesn't have the finish that I'm looking for. It's a bit crunchy and I just didn't see the volumizing effect. To me, this feels more of just a regular hairspray. So I do use it, you know, as a hairspray, but it wasn't the dry sort of texture spray that I was looking for for my sort of natural tousled hair look that I want to do. Um, so yeah, I was a little disappointed about it. So again, that is the Joico Turn Flip Volumizing Finishing Spray. That was the last of the hair products that I wanted to talk about. So the rest is just going to be all makeup. And the next one I have is from the brand Becca. And I talked about it a little bit on my blog. And it is their Low Light Highlight Perfecting Palette. This is what it looks like, and inside is a compact with a cream contour and a cream highlight, and a mirror um, as well. I really find that I love this cream contour. I reach for it every single day, and I've used it today. It works really well. It gives almost more of a natural sort of bronze look, but not too orange. So in the summertime when you're not exactly wanting that really harsh, you know, grayish colored shadow and you want something a bit more warm, this has been working amazingly. And I also do like the cream um, highlights. Let me swatch it for you guys. But I just don't actually tend to reach for it quite as much as the uh, contour shade. So if you see, this is the contour shade here and this is the highlight shade. So very, if you're somebody who is new to contour and highlight, I think that you would really like this because it gives a super natural finish and cream contour and highlight is just much easier to blend into your skin and look natural than a powder formula. And then also at the same time, if you're an experienced contour and highlight aficionado, you know, using this and then using a powder over it will make sure that your contour and highlight lasts all day long. So once again, this is the highlight shade and the contour shade, both very beautiful, have been loving this product. And I will link um, down my whole blog post on this down below too. And I know I'm not saying any of the prices right now, and it's honestly because I just can't remember them off the top of my head, but I will put all that info um, in the down bar also. So the next thing that I have is a brush from Morphe, and it is the MB30 brush. This is what it looks like. And this is what I have been using to contour my face, and I am obsessed. Like, it is the perfect little brush. You can see it has, like, a nice, thick, dense tip here and it just applies the products perfectly into your cheekbone area and chisels out the look that you want. I have been loving it. I actually really like to use this with my powder um, contour. I don't actually use it with the cream contour that I just showed you. This is super affordable and really great. I think it's pretty comparable to the NARS um, 
I want to say it's the Eda brush. I can't remember exactly, but everybody knows the one that I'm talking about. It's like a huge cult following to use for contour. It's just so expensive. And this is much more affordable and works beautifully. So I have been really loving this product. Going along with that whole Morphe thing, I picked up some of their waterproof um, like cream eyeshadows, I think is what they called it. It doesn't say exactly what it is on here, but I'll link it down below. And this one is in the color Slick, and this is what it looks like. I hadn't tried any of the cream eyeshadows from Morphe. I have tried um, some of their regular shadows when I bought the Jaclyn Hill palette, and then obviously I've picked up a ton of their brushes lately and have really been loving them. So this is the cream shadow and it's sort of a bronzy color. You barely need any to get a little payoff. I mean, I barely put my finger in there. And you can see that's what it looks like right there. This has been my go-to product for just throwing on my eyes, blend it out with a brush and leave it at that and put a little bit of mascara on. I use this during my trip to the river when I just wanted to have a little bit of color on my lids and wanted to make sure that I was going to stay through the day while I was in the water and this worked wonderfully. So again, this is from Morphe and I want to say it is their cream eyeshadow and it's in the color Slick. So really nice. I picked up a couple other colors but the color Slick has been my favorite. Um, I plan on showing all of y'all them over on my blog soon so keep your eye out for that if you're interested. The next product was actually a sample and it came when I picked up a bunch of stuff from um, Nordstrom I think and it is the MAC Pep and Prime Skin Base Visage, I guess that's how you say. Um, and this is like a little tiny thing. I've never tried MAC's primer before but I was really impressed and I've actually really enjoyed using this. So I think that I'm going to go out and buy the full size because I'm pretty much out of my regular um, primer that I have been using which is the Too Faced Hangover RX primer and I love it but it's a bit too moisturizing for me in the summertime I feel like my skin is a little oily and this one has been working really nice so I've been loving this if you know of any other MAC primers or anything that I should check out let me know down in the comments because I think I'm going to do a bit of a splurge there soon and I want to pick up a bunch of things so um, let me know down below. So again, the MAC Pep Prep and Prime Face Primer. And I feel like you're going to see a common theme here and that is contouring and I just, I love it. I feel like it gives definition to the face and I've been trying out a lot of products because I want to do a full contour and highlight video for you guys. So I was looking for a drugstore alternative to some of the higher end contour and highlight palettes and I know that the drugstore has recently come out with a few and one that I really like that isn't a palette but a single is from NYX and it is their taupe HD blush this is what it looks like these are really cute they have the little bow on the front and this is um, truly just a taupe colored blush but it is perfect for using for contour I mean I definitely don't suggest using it you know on the tops of your cheeks um, unless maybe you're like really dark skinned um, but it's super pigmented and it gives off such a nice ashy sort of grayish you say ashy and it sounds terrible but it just gives a really nice natural shadow effect to your sh like to your contour areas and it looks so natural compared to the other more bronze um, and brown shades that are out there because it has this little bit of gray in it it gives you that natural shadow appearance to your face and I've really really been loving this I've used it every day since I picked it up and it's super affordable seriously all you need you really don't need those huge palettes that have tons of different contour and highlight shades because you really just need the one you know you need this and then maybe a bronzer and then your highlight and that's really it you know you're gonna get your most bang for your buck with a product like this so again that's the NYX HD blush in taupe I recently ran out of my uh, face moisturizer that I had been using which was my philosophy um, oh gosh I can't remember what it's called it's like their hope in a jar <laughs> wow I had a total like brain fart moment there but I've been using the hope in a jar and I wanted to try something new so I went to Sephora 
and I had the guy at the counter help me pick something out. We went through my skin tone and you know my if I'm oily combination that sort of. He suggested that I try this product from Coors and it is their pomegranate moisturizing and balancing cream gel. So this works really well. It's not the most um, expensive product but it's also not the cheapest. It comes in a little jar like this. It's a nice glass jar and um, it smells really nice like pomegranate. It smells really fresh and I like this because it isn't so moisturizing that I feel like my face is really oily after I apply it. In the summertime, you know, my face really does get a lot more oily than it is in the wintertime. And so a product that's more of a gel sort of sinks into your skin faster and leaves it without, you know, feeling tacky or anything like that. So I've really been liking this a lot and I'm really glad that he recommended it to me because I'll definitely try it again after I run out of this. It's definitely better than the Hope in the Jar in my opinion and I've used Hope in the Jar for a long time. So once again that was the Coors Pomegranate Moisturizing and Balancing Cream Gel. Really good. The next product I have, I'm like so upset this happened, but I picked up the Becca Jaclyn Hill Collaboration um, Champagne Pop Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed and I'm trying to put the box together for you guys. So this is what the box looks like. It's really pretty. It has her picture on the back. Like love her. She is amazing. She's done so much from being on YouTube and it's just really awesome. So I picked this up a couple of weeks ago sort of as a birthday present to my I had never tried any of Becca's pressed uh, skin perfectors before and I really wanted to get this one so I went into the store and the guy was like oh I don't know if we have any more we don't really care their full line and then he he magically appeared from behind the counter they had one and so I was like super excited and I was loving this product and then it broke do you see that how awful is that? Like so upsetting. I wanted to cry. This thing is like $45 and two weeks after I got it, it broke. So needless to say, it is definitely a very finely milled powder that if you drop it, it is going to break because it broke instantly. I knew as soon as it fell, it was closed and it fell and it just shattered. So upsetting. But seriously, such a beautiful highlight. I'm if I can't fix this one, um, you know, with like rubbing alcohol or whatever, you know, you can like fix broken powders with, um, I'm going to get a new one. And I know that may seem ridiculous, like just deal with the brokenness, but I really want a new one <laughs> if I can't fix it. So this is what the highlighter looks like. It is amazingly beautiful. Look how stunning that is. You just get so much payoff. I brought this on a trip with me with a bunch of my girlfriends and we were, I was putting it on everybody and everybody was loving. It just flatters so many different types of skin tones. I have a friend who is much paler and it just looked amazing on her. I have a girlfriend who's much darker with, you know, dark hair and it looked amazing on her. And then there's me with like sort of light, you know, to a little bit tan right now and it's just if you can get your hands on it, it's definitely worth the splurge. So just know that you have to be careful. Don't travel with it because it's going to break. You know, just leave it at home in a safe place. <laughs> so again, Champagne Pop by ja Jaclyn Hill and Becca. Alright, so only two more products left. My next one is another highlighting product. Like I said, I'm like all about highlight and contour right now. Over the summertime, I love to be nice and glowy and then also want to make sure that I'm bronzed and defined. So this came in one of my boxy charms, the Beauty Crop Lightning Crew Highlight Cream. And this stuff works really well. I've actually mostly been enjoying using it on um, my eyes. So I will just put this all over my eyes for a nice um, glowy look, very natural, blends out really well. One and done, you're good to go. So that is the highlight right there. You can also use it you know, on top of your cheeks, anywhere really that you would use a highlight product. This looks really nice, if you can see that one right there. And I've really been loving it. 
Um, I will link some of my BoxyCharm posts below. It's really affordable. It's $21 a month and you can get products like this and other products. You know, most of the time I like three to four of the like four to five products that come in the box, which is amazing because a lot of times I only like one. So love this and I love BoxyCharm too. So really good product. And my last product is also from BoxyCharm and this came in my most recent box that I just put up the video like last week. So if you haven't seen it, I'll link it down below. But this is the Your Mineral Sweden and it is their transparent veil and I have been using this all week since I got it and it just leaves your skin so nice and like poreless like it just somehow makes your skin look perfect like I am really amazed with how well this is working for me you can see it's sort of like a white powder I like to use it to set my under eyes and then my t-zone so really good product really loving this and I suggest checking them out um, as well I'll link them down below Okay guys, so that's everything that I have for you today. I have picked up a lot of stuff recently and just wanted to share with you some of the hits and misses. I hope you liked this video. If you want to see more of these sort of like haul video updates, what worked for me, what didn't, um, let me know down in the comments. And I really appreciate you guys watching and sub if you liked this video and if you want to see more videos. And have a great day. Bye!